Hello YouTube, it's your boy Kados back again with a brand new video today. What you guys will be watching is a spot slash tips and tricks video for search and destroy on EVAC. These strategies could be used in either public matches or competitive matches, wherever you guys want to use them. They could also be probably used in other game modes, but I recommend to use them in search and destroy. If you guys do enjoy this video and want to see others like this on different maps, then I can definitely make that happen. Just comment below and let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys do like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys back again on Sunday. Okay, so first what you guys will be seeing is a, a wall run I like to do right off the start. Uh, the timing normally works out where you'll meet the guy right when you jump in this window. So if you can win this gunfight, it's a huge advantage to kind of take over the B-bomb and uh, get a plant off. Also, there's a ledge here. Uh, you don't need to use it right away, but it can be helpful in kind of surprising the team or keeping them off guard. Here's another run that I'll hit sometimes where they won't even see you in the window. You can hit off here and then kind of just surprising from the other way where, you know, they wouldn't really expect you to be. Up next is another wall run that I'll use. Uh, normally you want to use this on defense to kind of catch the offense off guard. Uh, I recommend using the afterburner perk. It kind of makes these jumps a little bit easier and I'll be showing a lot of wall runs kind of later on in this video as well. You can either cut it short like I just did if you think they're already pushed up onto B or you can go all the way around like this and really catch another team off guard. You know, they might be like sitting there with ARs waiting for someone to push out a B and all of a sudden you're behind them and you can start taking them out, you know, one by one. Another good route is uh, actually using this wall run on the other way. Say you're on offense, you know, they're camping in the B building, uh, just setting up on the bomb, waiting for someone to push in. You can just flank all the way around like this and uh, just, you know, really catch them off guard if they're down low or you can go up top and kill them right there too. You can also make this wall run go a little further. Uh, rather than going straight into the building, you know, maybe you don't want to challenge the gunfight, you can go around the back side of this wall and just get right into their spawn and then just from attack from whatever side you want either A or the B bomb site. These next couple spots uh, they're nothing crazy you can hop on that barrel right there and kinda just surprise some people if they come around corners if you're trying to defend B or you can jump on this bed right here and uh, get a better sight into those B stairs or inside the B stairs you can hop in this little window seal and if they come around the corner you know they might not expect it compared to if you're just standing straight in the corner nothing too crazy but they can be helpful in defending B because there's not really the best spots to watch the bomb from there. This next route you can also use on defense if you push through mid. It's a lot similar to the one that I showed you on defense for defending B, but this way they don't see you, you know, coming out the wall B side and it's a little more surprising. You could also use the same right wall run pushing up mid and just doing a similar wall run that I showed earlier. Next up is just a couple spots in mid that uh, you may not know about. You can hop up on these boxes and it might just catch your opponents off guard if you're just sitting mid, waiting for someone to pass by or anything like that. There's not many inc incredible spots mid, but these are just a couple that I saw that, you know, may catch them off guard if you're just trying to camp a corner and wait for someone to pass, and it kind of gives you a little bit of safety. Up next is now if we're dealing with the A side. If you're on offense, this is a kind of good push. You can jump right in the pool without anyone seeing you and then hit this wall run right here and jump onto this ledge that a lot of people don't know about and sort of flank the other team if they're you know sitting on head glitches watching the A-bomb site and stuff like that. You can also use this spot for looking at the A-bomb site after you just planted. So if you plant on A you could go on the ledge, pop up, see if it's there and then sit in the corner you know check it every couple seconds just to make sure no one's planting and you're pretty safe in that corner. Also if you choose to you could just push all the way around their spawn using this wall run and uh, really be completely behind the enemy team. You could either flank them B, flank them A, and it really can just catch a team off guard. Next is just a couple spots that I like to watch the bomb with. Uh, you can kind of get a good view at top glass here, uh, and they probably won't see you very well. Or you can sit back and just wait for someone to push if they do push, you know, using the way I just showed you. Now you can also use this wall run on defense. Uh, it may not be the best idea, but if you do want to try a crazy flank on D, you can kind of run around the pool like this without them seeing you and you know jump in the pool surprise them a little bit or just keep you know wall running and getting to the back of their spawn as you can see there's a lot of different wall run uh, strategies you can use in this map also here's a couple other spots that I like you can watch top glass from here too uh, I just saw this one used on me the other day and it's pretty insane I don't think they're gonna see you very well I think I like the spot 
on the, the back generator better, but either way, pretty good spots. This quick corner is nothing special. You can just use it to watch the bomb site. I've seen people use it a lot before. Now this next spot is probably the best way to watch the A bomb site after planting the bomb. You want to plant it in that corner just like I showed you and then run straight into this corner bottom glass. Most people are not going to check this corner and it gives you a really good sight line if they're defusing the bomb. I've also seen people go to this top corner so you can really watch the flank and then just check back periodically to see if they're defusing or not. Like I said before, I hope these strategies help you guys in your search and destroy gameplay. And if you guys do want to see more, please, please, please comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys on Sunday. Bye-bye.